Hello and welcome to this short video about getting started with Mindomo. Over the next few minutes we'll see how to start a new map, how to add topics to the map, how to edit them, how to move them around and how to save the map. When you're logged into Mindomo, the Mindomo dashboard page is your home page. From the dashboard you can see your existing maps, edit them and start new maps. Let's begin by creating a new map. Every map starts with one central topic. You cannot delete the central topic but you can change its text and appearance. To change the text of the central topic, select it and start typing. Press the Enter key when you've finished. In Mindomo you can do most things with a keyboard shortcut or with a command in the ribbon menu. In this video we're showing you some of the keyboard shortcuts because they're the quickest to use. To add a main topic to the central topic, press the insert key when the central topic is selected. You can type the topic text straight away. And press the enter key when you finish entering text. To add another main topic, press the enter key again. To add a subtopic to a topic, select it and press the insert key. You can add more subtopics at the same level by pressing the enter key when there is already a topic selected. You need to press the enter key twice between each topic. To delete a topic, select it with your mouse and press the delete key. To move a topic to a new parent topic, click and hold it with your mouse and drag it to where you want it to go. The red box shows you where it will go when you release the mouse button. Topics can be marked with symbols to add extra meaning. To add a symbol to the selected topic, click the drop down button in the symbols group in the home tab, then click on the symbol you require. Topics can also have notes associated with them to add extra detail. To add notes to a topic, click the notes button in the insert group in the home tab. Then type your notes into the notes window. When you close the notes window, the text is saved with the topic. A notes symbol appears on the topic and you can hover over it with the mouse to preview the notes. Topics can also carry a hyperlink to a web page or email address. This is very useful for collecting and organising information. To add a hyperlink to the selected topic, click the hyperlink button in the home ribbon. Type or paste the address into the link box. And click the add button when you're ready. You can then close the hyperlink window. Clicking the hyperlink symbol in the map will open that page in your browser. To navigate around your map, you can use the cursor keys to move from topic to topic. To hide the subtopics of a topic, click the minus button on a topic. It then changes to a plus. The plus button means that there are subtopics hidden underneath. Click the plus button again to reveal them. You can also hide and show subtopics with the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl 0 and Ctrl 1.
To move your map around, click and hold in the background until the cursor changes to a hand. To zoom in and out, you can use a slider at the bottom of the screen. Or hold the ALT key and use the scroll wheel on your mouse. To save your map, click the Mindomo button and then choose Save. You can add a description to your map or some tags to help you to find it again later on. Click Save when you're ready. Finally, to return to your Mindomo dashboard, click the Mindomo button and choose Exit Mindomo. From here you can edit maps, create new maps and share your maps with other Mindomo users. To find out more about using Mindomo, click the Help button in the Mindomo dashboard toolbar. Let's wrap up with a summary of some of the commonly used keyboard shortcuts. The Insert key creates a new topic. The F2 key edits the text of an existing topic. The Enter key finishes the editing of topic text. The Enter key also creates a new topic at the same level when a topic is already selected. The Delete key deletes the selected topic and its subtopics and Control alt s will save the current map. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you enjoy using Mindomo.